Hello, this is Maximus with another battle against Indie Pride in the Call of Warhammer mod for Medieval 2. Hey, what's going on everybody? Indie Pride here with Milk and Cookies Total War. After the shameful display in the first <laughs> battle where my blob Get wrecked, son. <laughs> my blobbed up um blobbed up spike boxed dwarfs got wrecked, I sort of had to I had to wipe the shame off my name. Bringing my favorite faction, the Orcs and Goblins. And my army consists of three... I mean, I knew Indipride was going to go Siege, and I know what Siege can do. Siege can shoot the crap out of you if you let them. Uh, so I went with four Goblin Archer Meat Shields up front. Then I have a massive line of Orc Big Ones, Black Orcs, uh, just Big Ones and Black or Orcs. And the reason why I specifically chose these guys is because they have two hit points. So they will, yep, they will take fire and they will not care, they will still get into melee. For my cavalry flanks, I have three of Ogla Khan's wolf boys. In the center I have one orc boar boy, in case something nasty comes rushing in. Uh, then I have three boar boys on the flanks. Most important units though, three trolls. Yes, three trolls. We're playing at 50k funds, so I could afford to bring three trolls. And that's going to be a problem for me. That's oh. going to be a big ass problem for me. So I'm Chaos. I am the Warriors of Zinch. I got a main line of Chaos Warriors of Zinch. And I have the ET looking mother lickers. The, uh, what are these called again? The Flamers of Zinch. They are really interesting. They basically use the Greek napalm animation from uh, Medieval Two Kingdoms, the Crusades, the Byzantine flamethrower basically. But they can do it when they're running away. And they run really fast and they're actually good in melee too. So... Super weird looking, wouldn't expect them to be a great unit, but they kill everything, actually. They're a pretty crazy unit. I have some Halberd Warriors, and in the back, some Marauder Axe Throwers of Zinch. If they have the time to throw their axes, they do a lot of damage, high armor piercing, but these are kind of crappy units. They're, I mean, they're really low tier, they die very easily, but they can kill a lot of stuff if they're given time to throw their axes. I have some more Horrors of Zinch, which also throw flames. I have a general unit of chosen knights of Zinch, and then as you already saw him, the sorcerers up on the hill. Nice little vantage point over the battlefield. So let's pull and do three, two, one, press play. Yep. Get into the replay. So this battle started out really weird. The sorcerers, all the mages in this game generally have very long range. And I was like, if I plot my guys up here, perfect vantage point over the battlefield. They're gonna kill everything. I'm excited to use them. His goblin archers are going to move up, and I'm like, hey, let's kill a couple of them. These guys have a lot of ammunition, and they're in range right now, and you can kind of see their arms flickering. They're not shooting. Apparently, they don't have line of sight. Apparently, they can't really shoot from above there. That was a problem because I moved them up there. I don't have time to move them while he rushes in. They're not going to kill very much from up here, which is an issue. And I'm not, I'm not really killing any of your flamers with my goblins. But the idea with the goblins is, of course, just to have them be a meat shield and hopefully kill something. But I realize I'm not going to be able to kill. I'm not going to be able to kill chaos warriors very effectively. Halberds, I'm going to be able to kill those, and I'm going to be able to kill marauder axe throwers. So those are the units I want to focus on. Yeah. So I wasn't honestly. I have no idea what the flamers of Zinch or the horrors of Zinch were capable of doing. I think Maximus knew more about Zinch before this game than I did. But I decided to bring a lot of magic, and you can see my army is very small because of that. You look at the 50k funds army that the Greenskins brought. They're really kind of scary looking as my Zinch fire throwers actually start shooting here. The sorcerers did some damage there. Uh, some yeah, purple. You are actually killing quite a few of these back orc destroyers. Mhm. Mm but it's it's scary because my army's really small and you have so many two hit point units and then the ten hit point units with the trolls that I don't know if my main line's gonna be able to survive long enough before my my uh, magic can actually do the damage it needs to. The cool thing and the broken thing about trolls is they have no real weaknesses. So what I'm doing now, I'm just sending in my trolls sort of disorganized. Try to break through. Uh, they're taking all of those uh, axes straight in the face and don't really care start wrecking Chaos Warriors. And while that's happening, I'm sending these units wide, wide around the flanks, because even though I have a really strong melee line crashing into his uh, also equally strong Chaos Warriors, uh, if these flamers are able to fire down on my men, they are going to die. 
And I've actually done a very good or very poor job of moving my flamers of Zinch. I actually think I forgot about them for a little bit here. And they have poor line of sight. They're not actually shooting at the moment. And that's a problem because they do a lot of damage and they can kite really effectively. So what I should have done probably is move them out to the flank. But my horrors of Zinch are actually shooting in to some of the big guns. And normally they would be just killing everything at the moment. But those big guns have two hit points, which yep. means he's taking a lot of this damage. Only lost two men so far. And I'm basically just getting completely surrounded. The the big the orc boar boys are now behind me, and I have to move one of my chaos warriors behind. And a lot of my magic units are now in danger of getting flanked and destroyed. Trolls are so fast. Conk really be stopped. Now they're able to get into the horrors. And they're dead. <laughs> uh, they're dead. They're gonna, gonna be a big to old charge for quite some time. But they can't shoot anymore. And that's the biggest yeah, issue. They have the to be able to shoot. So you've got the wolf boys moving in on the flanks. My my main line is just in shambles at this point. I've already lost a bunch of my chaos warriors who didn't fare too well against the two hit points from the black orcs. You cut through them pretty easily, and the yeah. trolls haven't lost any men so far. They're really bloody, but they haven't lost any men. And now my flamers are trying to get shot. And actually, I killed your gen, which yeah, I didn't. the general died really, really early. Which is bad for orcs. Actually, they have morale problems sometimes. Yeah. So well, they have morale problems, but big guns and, and black orcs don't. And of course, trolls. Definitely don't. Yeah. And those are the most important units, so. Yeah. Getting some shots in on the trolls, and you can see them getting set on fire and taking damage there, but they're just kind of shrugging it off, and now they're going to charge in again. And up on the top of the hill, I had to commit my general unit to just tie down all these boar, by, boar boys. It was a really good move by you, actually. You just kind of flank them all the way up on top of that mountain, got a downhill charge, and I mean, they're not going to do... Um, the boar boys themselves are not going to do amazing against the Chaos Warriors, but they're tying down some of my more important units and now getting yeah. into my my magic users as well and if my magic users die here without doing enough killing i have absolutely no chance of winning the battle I and mean, look at the balance bar things are going horribly you've lost 20 percent of your army i've lost 61 percent of my army not looking good so far <laughs> no well, that, that's one of the things i talked a bit about it in the previous battle as well but in terms of balance there is no real effective way to counter trolls and when you go up to these high fun battles, if someone brings three trolls, the best way to counter that is to bring three trolls yourself. Yeah. But obviously not all factions can do that, and then they will die horribly. So at this point, I'm surrounded, mainline completely broken, everything in shambles. I'm like, this is going about as poorly as it possibly could. I have my source, excuse me, my sorcerers up on the hill. Floating on their discs, they did nothing. I was very upset with their performance this game. I don't know what the deal was <laughs> with the line of sight up on that cliff, because they clearly had it, but yep. maybe it was just something with the way they designed this map. It kind of blocked their line of sight. Probably. So they did really poorly, and now they're just going to get cut down by the Oglacons, Wolf Boys in combat. Then they're not going to survive for very long. And everything is going poorly, but I have one saving grace here. The flavors of Zeech shooting flames out of their ass as they run away. And they do uh, stagger the trolls a bit when they yeah, damage them. Yeah, and they're fast too, which yeah. is interesting. Like, the animation for them is super goofy, of course, but they're taking a bunch of arrow fire, <laughs> shrugging it off, really. I haven't lost very many men, and I'm actually going to get, get away from your trolls here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I've been firing on them for the entire time, and they've lost three flamers. Just scooting around on their little pink scooters. Yep. Boop, boop. <laughs> and now you actually and, killed a troll here. Oh, yeah, I did. So you're down to nine in that unit. <laughs> I'm down and to the, 29 trolls, so... This yeah, so... Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not. But <laughs> I was like, okay, I have to salvage this some way. I've obviously lost the battle at this point. not going to do any more damage uh, with my main line. But with the Flamers of Zinch, I can start killing some annoying goblins. So I'm just going to move up and start... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> just demolishing Absolute them from close range. So oh. that, that's, what, that's what happens with one hit point uh, infantry against those Flamers. Like, basically, any type of infantry in the game is going to going to die like this to the flamers. Armor helps, and sure, but it's not like, I mean, it's not like these 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 flames hit multiple multiple men or multiple goblins at once. And your formation right now is actually perfect for the flamers as well. It kind of just cuts through them in an yeah. arc, and so everyone in the line just falls over dead. You've lost hundreds of goblins already, and more will die soon. They have lots of ammunition, the flamers do, and like I said, they move fast, and it's weird, they're actually very good in melee when they charge in, they throw stuff up in the air, kind of like trolls do, so... They are missile cavalry. <laughs> yeah, they're they're very interesting, how they play. Yeah, they're they're basically on cav, you just don't see the cav. Yeah, same with the uh, with the discs and uh, the sorcerers. 
So I got, grew tired of killing the goblins because the goblins hadn't done that much damage to my more important troops. They actually killed a bunch of my uh, lower tier troops because they didn't have any armor, the, the axe throwers did. But I was like, I want to kill some of the big guns before this battle ends. So I started shooting into them a bit. You can see they're kind of shrugging off some of this, but they were in melee for a while and they've taken HP damage already. So they are going to start falling pretty quickly here. And probably going to kill like 30 or 40 of your big guns before they uh, charge after me. I'm like, oh, time to run away. Yep. Time to go. I bet Shoot some more fire much. out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's why, I mean, if I didn't have the trolls here, you could have, and you had something like two or three flamers, you could have been doing this all day. I think flamers were the right call. I think the, uh... The sorcerers were not worth their money, obviously. I didn't know that what happened with the flamers would actually happen. But I think that, or with the sorcerers happened, but I think two or three flamers, because they only cost 6,000 gold crowns, yep. which in 50,000 gold uh, battles is, it's a drop in the bucket, really. Yeah. So two or three of these flanking out and uh, maybe killing some cavalry. I and then see even the out. trolls are having significant problems catching up to them, and they're getting yeah, they very, very bloody. And now I'm just going to charge in. And uh, you can kind of see the goblins get <laughs> thrown up into the air, just kind of run them down. The E.T. looking dudes just kind of run through the goblins here. And I'm it's trying to pull jab, away from the troll. Jab, 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 but the goblins yeah. die. I'm just trying to pull through and get away, because I know the trolls are going to cut me down in melee if I don't. And eventually I'm going to get tied down here and cut to pieces. But I wanted to do as much damage as I possibly could before this ended. So ultimately... My build was really bad, and I had a feeling that it was going into it. More flamers would have done me well, less sorcerers, and uh, probably more in my infantry component, because I simply didn't have enough to deal with all of the the main line of the orcs. And honestly, I don't know if on 50k funds, Chaos can do particularly well. I think it would have had to be revolved around the flamer micro. That's what would win you the battle. Yeah, but, but, but any, any faction is going to have significant issues against uh, three trolls or ogres for that matter. Ogres are not as powerful as trolls but probably one of the most overpowered units in the game on higher funds. They can so be countered but you just have to focus your entire army to do it. And that's yeah. a problem in itself. Yeah, when, when you're when you're spending that many funds just to focus on the trolls themselves, then it opens up stuff for the other units yeah. to do things as well. And like the big guns and the black orcs, like you need to focus them down too because they have two hit points, and if you you can't focus it all down basically. Yeah. So, I, I think that cha you said when we play this battle, you think that chaos trolls would have been a good move. Absolutely. I think you're probably right. I think you need trolls to counter trolls yep. in this game. I don't even know if two or three flamers would have been enough to deal with the trolls unless they had a really long time to shoot into them honestly uh, maybe if you deployed uh, if you deployed far away like a chaos hell cannon deployed far away basically camped the hill a bit and then did the damage with the flamers maybe but yeah. it, it, it's not i mean because if, if the trolls were tired and slower then that the, the light missile cavalry <laughs> the light missile flamer cavalry would be better but it, it's 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 difficult when you get charged down by a two hit point army with troll support it's a nightmare yeah it was and like maximus was slaughtered in that first game by my ice mages and and cannons and cavalry i was completely pooped on <laughs> by the trolls and the black orcs in this game so it was actually pretty similar the amount of kills and deaths we had in last game compared to this one i ended up only killing 800 or 900 men um and lost Almost all of my army, only 15, 14 men escaped the field unscathed. And uh, your troll, let's actually see it. Are you watching my replay right now? Or are you I'm, watching? I'm watching my replay. Okay, so I'll read out my stats. Some, my flamers had 305 kills. That was by far and away my best. Marauder axe throwers can do really well, and they can be very cost effective. I did horribly with them. Probably just because they did HP damage to the trolls instead of going for like the two hit point black horse or something. They didn't get a lot of kills. So it's a little deceptive there. But uh, Chaos Warrior Halberds did 100 kills. But other than that, not... I mean, my Sorcerers, which cost like 18,000 gold crowns, which is like a third of my funds almost, 120 kills. Yep. Not even remotely worth it. What about your kills? Uh, the Trolls didn't do as good of a job as you might expect from their presence on the battlefield. The highest scoring unit is 112. 58 and then 31 so 
close to, well, 200 kills for all the trolls combined. Uh, then we have the Goblin Archers, and combined they have 400 kills. And everything else is, is basically sub 100. But it didn't really matter, because I just got completely enveloped and swamped by multiple yeah. units ganged up on, because my main line wasn't big enough, and kind of just cut to pieces. But that, That's one of the reasons why I like to have some... some rules some limitations when playing this sure. mod in terms of uh i prefer to play without magic without sorcerers because uh some of the sorcerers are, are some of the some of the wizards are just too ridiculous and the same goes for the trolls maybe in a high fun battle maybe one troll unit but once you start because orcs and goblins can bring six trolls before they start paying <laughs> more for their units yeah, and uh, a six troll army that, that would be pretty <laughs> that's hard. pretty hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it kind of it kind of ruins the strategic aspect of it because you just know you have a thirty defense, eleven hit point unit that can just wreck everything on the battlefield. Yeah, well, there are two styles of battles you can do in this mod. There's the kind of strategy where you can't bring as many funds and you kind of have to, or you can't bring as many men, and you try to balance what you can and can't bring, yeah. uh, and you kind of limit yourself a bit. But it's more strategic battles. Or you go for the more cinematic full magic user battles, full retard battles where <laughs> you just use units that can obliterate enemy units in seconds. And that's kind of what we went for today. But I think both are cool in their own right. Absolutely. I, I'm interested in what you guys think as viewers, what you enjoy more. Personally, for me, I think that watching the cinematic, or cinematic battles with the full retard, magic killing everything, is probably more entertaining because you guys have seen the strategic battles before. But the best battles are, of course, the ones where you see that obliteration of a unit, and you have some of that strategic element yeah. as well. But, uh, but for the fun value, bringing ridiculous armies is, is what this mod is all about, in my opinion. Absolutely. Uh, because uh, for strategic, we have other games, but for full retard, we have this, and it's <laughs> glorious. It is glorious. So I hope you guys enjoyed that replay. Again, we will probably be doing some more casting in the near future on this mod, and of course... Both of us very hyped for Total War Warhammer as well. So, hope yeah. you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later. Andy Pride signing off. Peace.